good morning. All right, since the potatoes got done, which you'll see in a previous video, uh, today I'm going to start with kiwi, and I've got a few other things to put in the dehydrator, but I wanted to show you something about kiwis so I can make kiwi chips. Now, what I've done first is I've used a sharp knife to cut the ends off, and then I cut the kiwi in half. So let me see if I can get this set up where you can see what I'm doing. Okay, let me get around here and do one of these uh, for you. Just use a spoon. Slip it right under the skin. It's a little awkward uh, from this angle, but... Slip it under the skin and scoop the kiwi out. And then cut it in about quarter inch slices. Okay, I'm just going to finish doing these and then bring you back. The kiwis only took what, one tray and part of another one, just a little bit. So, I just like with my canner, I don't like to run something if it's not really loaded full. So, I have a package of sliced mushrooms. Get this spun around a little bit. There's no reason why all these things can't dehydrate at the same time. I will check them late tonight or in the morning to see how dry they are. Uh, but uh, in the ones that are the driest, they, they can come out. But anyway, I'm going to, this is just sliced mushrooms from the grocery store. And I'm just going to lay them in here. Since this is not onions or garlic or anything smelly, the uh, scent and the flavor won't exchange. So I'm just gonna lay these mushrooms in here and I'll bring you back when I get those loaded in. Okay, so now I've got mushrooms, a little over half a tray of mushrooms in the bot in this one, and a full tray of mushrooms up here. And I don't have something else I wanna put in here right now because my next project is gonna be cauliflower, which uh, will need to be blanched before it's put in here i just honestly i just don't want to do that right now and i've got apples and they will have to be uh sliced in cord so uh let me get this started it will probably take like i said till tonight or tomorrow morning to get all this done it's not a full load like i wanted but it is three trays so that's better than nothing, y'all. A little is better than nothing. Let me get the lid on here. Okay. So there we go. I'm going to plug it in, and I'll bring you back tomorrow when this is finished. See, this is later the same day. So, uh, the mushrooms... The mushrooms are dry, and they're the way I want them, which is crisp. Hear that snap? It's exactly the way I wanted them. So, let these cool down and get the mushrooms out. And here are the kiwis. I was really hoping for a better color, but... But anyway, and they're a little bit leathery, which is what the instructions say that they're supposed to be. So they're not truly chips, but maybe um, after they cool down, I'll check. So I'll bring you back as I'm bagging them up. Okay, just as I thought, when these cooled down, they became a lot crisper, a lot harder. They're more like chips. I can't really snap that one for some reason, but because it's hard to do with one hand. Anyway, 
And this is what I was looking for. Let me get them on the table so you can kind of hear them. Yeah, that's how I want them. All right, so let me get these in a bag. I already put the mushrooms in a bag. This was one of those one pound packs of sliced mushrooms you see at the grocery store. And this is uh, what it dehydrated down to. And it's just a couple of ounces. I don't have scale here, so I can't tell you. But anyway, easy, easy storage. So I'll get these uh, kiwis in the bag and bring you back. Okay, I wanted to give a little bit of discussion to the design of this, the inside of this Presto uh, dehydrator. You can see there's some debris in here. And anyway, this has a little wall around it to collect drips. So that's for easy cleanup. These trays also channel liquids uh, let's see, down into a little moat which so that helps keep the keep the motor clean and if this gets if this little grate this filter gets too too bad it actually unscrews out of here and it can be washed up now the uh, instructions say all these parts, not not the base where the motor is, uh, but the other parts are supposed to be dishwasher safe. I don't have a dishwasher. I don't use one. So anyway, uh, get this back in here. It really just took a little bit of a turn like that and then lift it out. So that can be cleaned. All this can be wiped out and cleaned. Notice there's a couple of drips and that's probably because uh, I didn't load the trays sitting on the table instead of sitting on the dehydrator. So lesson learned. So I've got a little bit of drips in here to clean out. But from now on I'll set them right on the table to load them and then uh, put them over on the dehydrator and it was the kiwi the ki kiwi is what dripped because the kiwi is quite juicy so as I was reaching over just reaching over to put them on the trays that's when I got drips around here so I've learned something and that will keep this uh, good for a lot longer I think Anyway, tomorrow I'm going to try to uh, blanch some cauliflower bites and get them in the dehydrator, and I will bring you along for that. I've never done cauliflower before. It's my understanding it turns dark brown, but that uh, once you rehydrate it, it goes right back, right back to white again, so we will find out. All right, thanks for watching been a fun little different kind of adventure for food preservation uh, and I hope to hear from some of y'all who are who are doing your own uh, dehydrating it's a lot less space this was uh, I don't know maybe ten eight or ten kiwis and they, they all went right in this bag now. So, talk to me. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you're doing. <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching.